Hi, I'm Jimmy Clark and welcome to part three of my cancer blog. So, so far we've looked at being diagnosed and what that kind of feels like and how to try and do that well. Um, and then we looked at chemotherapy and what that feels like and the kind of side effects you're gonna get and just just to let you know what that's, that's like. Um, so if you haven't seen those videos, you might wanna check those out. But today we're gonna look at the op. So my op was quite a big op, it's called a gastrectomy. And so what that means is, is through a whole, I had a full gastrectomy, which means my whole stomach was removed. So I now lo no longer have a stomach, which is quite odd. And I've lost half of my esophagus as well. And I still work and everything's fine. So if, you, if you're gonna have a gastrectomy, um, this is what it looks like four months after the operation. So you'll be pleased to know it's all cool. It's, it's all fine. Um, so basically what they do with a gastrectomy is they, they cut out your stomach and a bit of your esophagus, um, well, for me, they did because the tumor was right where the esophagus joins the, the stomach. Um, yeah, they got rid of my whole stomach and then they take the small intestine and they cut some of it out and then they sew your small intestine to your esophagus, the remaining part of your esophagus. And then with the bit that they cut out, they attach that to your gallbladder, I believe, and then sew it into like a Y shape, um, which is amazing. And so I had the, I had the op, yeah, nearly four months ago. Um, they did it for me open surgery so i've got a scar from about here to here so big old pirate scar um which i think is quite cool because i'm a i'm a bloke or a boy really probably at heart um but yeah so i've got a big old scar and um but the thing that's quite interesting is that your body can cope really amazingly with that stomach which sounds ridiculous but it just learns to to deal with it um so obviously there's some changes that you need to make because your stomach kind of contains all the food and breaks it down and slowly releases it into your intestine. That's what the stomach does, you know, and you've got acid, acids in there that break it all down and, and then it's slowly released. Um, so obviously that doesn't happen anymore. So you need to really chew your food and you know, you need to just eat small portions basically. So what I do is I'll have like one slice of toast with some peanut butter on it because it's high in protein. And then, so I'll have that for breakfast and then halfway through the morning, I'll have another snack and then I'll have a smaller lunch and then between lunch and dinner I'll have another snack and then a smaller dinner like a side plate I have at dinner time rather than a full plate and you know just small portions and try and eat slowly especially at first eat slowly and and chew your food and uh, you'll find it's it's fairly straightforward um, you find you lose weight as well so I've lost quite a bit of weight which is a real bonus you know every cloud has a silver lining so um, I needed to lose weight and that's been very easy with this kind of quite extreme gastric band surgery you could look at it as being. Um, but yeah, so eating is is now fine. I'm in the routine of it. Um, there's things to kind of remember um, and this is why it's quite important to kind of uh, to, to find people that have been through this because the doctors and nurses can kind of tell you about it but obviously they don't know how it feels or all that kind of stuff. So I found this really great, like chatting to people that have had the op. Um, but the thing that's quite odd is that you don't have the same feelings that you feel before, even though your whole body feels completely normal. So it doesn't feel like after the op, you don't wake up and feel like you've lost something. You, you wake up and feel just as you did before. So, um, and if someone told me that I didn't have it, I wouldn't know that I've had my stomach removed. So you just feel completely normal in that sense and until you sort of start to eat and you realize that you can't eat as much as you you used to and you need to you know eat slow and, and stuff like that um but it's yeah it's important to to um to to point out that you don't feel full and you don't feel hungry so all those sensations kind of change a bit so you, you just need to get used to the new feeling full and because you don't feel hungry I kind of sometimes I'll, I'll have my breakfast you know wake up have some breakfast and I'll look at the clock it'll be like one o'clock and I forgot to have a snack and all that kind of stuff and so you have to kind of watch the clock to have your snacks because you don't feel hungry which is really quite an interesting quite an interesting thing um, so so yeah so they're kind of the basics there's a thing called um, dumping syndrome which I've had a couple of times and if you have a lot if you eat too fast or if you have um, a lot of sugars and things like that especially if you have a lot of sugars 
because things are going straight into your small intestine they're kind of being absorbed really quickly so I've found which is great if you've got a glass of wine because that feels amazing so you have a glass of wine it absorbs really quickly you feel like you've had about three straight away and then you feel oh great and then five to well, about 15 minutes later it's as if you've not had anything to drink so cheap night out and you know wine just feels amazing but anyway things are absorbed really quickly so like sugars if you have a lot of sugars they're absorbed really quickly so you have like this this sugar rush and then once all the sugars are gone you sort of start to get the shakes and feel it feel a bit odd and um so you can have kind of you know you can have like quite bad diarrhea and things like that and it can be quite quite bad in those but that's only in the first sort of couple of months so if you're starting to feel like that your body does get used to this really quickly um so which is which is great so you'll you'll be fine you know um and you'll just learn how these new things new feelings you know and how to kind of how to kind of work out what they are and um and before you know it, you'll you'll get yourself into a bit of a routine um and things like drinking as well is quite difficult because drinking takes up it's like everything feels like it takes up quite a lot of real estate at first um so you know so so you can't kind of have a snack and a drink at the same time to start with because it will feel like too much but over time you'll be, be able to do it and I've you know I've met people that have had the op like six years ago that can now eat a full meal and have a glass of wine and are completely back to normal and people like you know and you know are further down the road they're just completely back to normal now so you know it doesn't it, it's just a it doesn't mean it's going to be like this for the rest of your life it's just you know just getting through this kind of first part and then uh but for me now i'm finding it really you know a lot easier um so that's kind of the that's kind of it with the uh the gastrectomy but as i said before with the other videos if you've got any questions or anything just post them below and i'll try and try and get back to you and uh and yeah try and try and reach out to some people that have gone through it before if you you know it, it's it's funny how you know i'd never really heard of stomach cancer or the fact that you can live without a stomach i've never heard of that before really and then it's amazing all these people that just came out of the woodwork friends of friends and and all sorts of people that had gone through this sur surgery and you know were through it and, and were doing really well so as we said before you know anything you can do that you know swaps fear for hope is is really important so um yeah you know good luck with it all and, and as i said any questions um let me know all right cheers